We're in February 2017, which means soon clowns everywhere will start wearing clothing with N7 stamped across them as we all prepare for the release of Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, straight off the bat, have you even given it a thought into what you're wearing or what other people think when they see you wearing it? If I see some potato walking down the street with N7 sewn into their attire, I'm gonna think one thing, that you are the seventh nerd. That's nothing to be proud about. Either way, I think it's time we went through the history of Mass Effect. And where better to do that than here on the Miller Report. Despite being a very successful series on the last generation of video game consoles, Mass Effect has always been shrouded in controversy and the last entry literally blew the internet's mind. There was brain everywhere. And this was all because of the finish. Even though up to that point the majority of the game had been about trying to stop a foe that wanted to destroy the universe, all of a sudden, some kid turned up, who I can only presume was playing hooky from school, and started spouting nonsense at you. What. The. Hell. Seemingly obsessed with something called the solution, and the cycle, and how he should part his hair, and whether he needs braces, it genuinely made no sense. It would be like a dog ringing you up at the end of Call of Duty just to tell you, well done, you did a good job. I mean, that is going to happen eventually because Activision are out of ideas. And you can tell that because they're following the very standard we're out of ideas protocol. They said it in space, and we all know after space comes talking animals. As a fact. But I digress. The point here is that clearly someone at Bioware woke up one day out of their minds, saw their own child eating breakfast, and decided the finale to their long-running space opera should mimic that. And you know what? That's fine. It's your game. Do whatever you want. The real issue here is that there was a much more obvious route to go. A large criticism at the time was, well, what did you want the developer to do? Put you on some kind of space dinosaur that you rode into battle to defeat the Reapers as the band Slayer played in the background? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. There's no punchline here. I'm talking slower and extending this segment so you understand the importance of what I'm trying to say. I wanted 80s thrash metal band Slayer to riff me towards the Reapers as I was on a mechanical T-Rex. But no, it was no raining blood, no war ensemble, just a spoiled brat who probably has eaten one too many McDonald's in his life and feels like that gives him the right to rule the world. That cheeseburger ain't helping nothing, kid, aside from helping your cholesterol reach levels of critical mess. All this naturally caused the internet to go temporarily insane, and so much so, they actually got the developer Bioware to change the ending. Are you kidding me? Where do you get off? Where do you think it's all right to pester someone so much that they change their artistic vision. You're gonna go dig up Walt Disney because he killed off Bambi's mum? You're gonna go find George Lucas and shave his beard because he made Darth Vader Luke's dad? No, you're not. So get a damn grip. That's not how this works. You can be upset about it, sure. But don't bleat on about it so much and pester someone so much that you get what you want. That's what a bully does. Or worse still, that is what a terrorist does. Are you a terrorist? You better think twice about the answer. Like Celine Dion. This is only the start where it comes to Mass Effect, though. If we're to take a step back from proceedings, all I can take away from it is that it's a story about some man and his chiseled jaw as he goes on an adventure with a mutated frog and some fish that has a gun. That's the plot of a children's book right there, or at least it would be if Mass Effect wasn't so obsessed with letting you do the sideways shuffle whenever you pleased. And yes, that is another term for sex. Calm down. Sometimes humans like to roast the broomstick. But seriously, if the galaxy needs to be saved, why is Shepard so focused on getting his end away? If you saw a giant meteor heading towards Earth and knew you could stop it, would you go and help yourself to some hanky-panky, some love-making, some nookie, some f***ing, f***ing, f***ing the ass, Or would you save the world? What? It was too much. I was just trying to build. I was just trying to build so I could get the message of importance to the people out there that you don't have sex when you can save the world. That's why I use the term fucking fucking the ass. But don't use that. Okay, 
I won't use it. How does that make any sense? If you hired a plumber to fix your plums and then you got in and they were doing the nasty, how would that make you feel? And no, I'm not describing a pornographic film. What I am saying is, if someone has an important job to do, do the important job before sticking your in the Have some self-control. You're not an animal. And that was pretty much Mass Effect wrapped up in a nutshell. Aside from the incessant talking and chatting you have to do. And then Bioware tried to make it super exciting by saying, hey guys, you can choose to be nice or not nice. Well, whoop de doo I can decide on how I respond to questions. David Dimbleby's got nothing on me. What's next? The ability to choose which shoes I should wear when I go to a restaurant, what shirt, whether or not it's worth putting on a hat, if I should blink or not. Never in my wildest dreams have I been so disappointed by a game mechanic. Well, no, that's not true, because Dark Souls exists, and within Dark Souls, some elements are actually broken. I mean, they're broken. They don't work, and people apologize for them. But you take my point. So, ultimately, if Mass Effect Andromeda wants to continue to wave the Mass Effect flag, it's gonna have to be a game about a nymphomaniac who hangs around with modified animals and sometimes has heated arguments with a child. Well, shiver me timbers. That is a 10 out of 10 right there. Although, obviously, it's not. It's disgusting, and you're disgusting because you want to play it. Now I know you enjoyed that, so why don't you give a little something back to PC Games N and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, and then go share it on your social network of choice.